If you're like me, and my wife, then you find yourself aimlessly, listlessly scrolling through your subscription video service every single night, looking for just the right movie, TV show, or documentary to put on. And then, if you're anything like me, you find yourself still doing the same thing one hour later because you can't decide what to watch. So, I recently have gone through and done sort of an audit on all of the subscription services. This isn't just about video subscription services, this is about all of the subscription services that I have and pay for every single month. And what really happened is, I started to find out that I was paying for a ton of stuff that one, I don't use, and two, is a bit redundant, like online storage or video subscription services. So I wanted to make this video to let you know that it's okay to cancel them. It's okay if you don't have every video subscription service. Okay, so a couple of months ago, Netflix removed The Office and Parks and Recreation, which were two of my absolute favorite shows and most rewatched series when I have nothing else to watch or I'm about to go to bed and I just need something mindless to watch. And that started me thinking about what I'm actually paying for Netflix for. I aimlessly scroll through all of Netflix only to finally decide to move on to something else like Hulu or HBO Max or Prime Video or one of the many other video subscription services you could have. Everything has a subscription service. So what I started to do was look at all of the other subscription services I have, like Google Drive, iCloud Storage, Dropbox, Peloton, One Eternity Later, Apple Fitness Plus, and I started to realize that a lot of it is redundant, and I'm spending a ton of money, a ton of money every month, every year, paying for these things that I don't use the way that I should. And I think all I really needed was the permission to say, you can cancel it, if you want it again, you can buy it, and if you're not using it, get rid of it. So the first thing I actually did when I was doing this was to start going through and making a list of all the things that we pay for and their price monthly. And if it's an annual price, I'd split it up so that it was monthly so that I could track it and see how much exactly I was spending. So we're talking Netflix is, we bought the $17.99 tier where you can have four streaming services, but you can also get the $13.99 one, which lets you have two TVs on at the same time it depends on your family size. We're a family of four. Sometimes everybody's watching it once. We had Hulu, we had the ad free version is $11.99. I will pay a couple of extra dollars not to have ads. I think that's okay. We also have Disney Plus, which I love Disney Plus. That's $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year, depending on how you pay for it. There's Amazon Music that we had, which was $14.99 for the family plan. We had Amazon Prime, which is $120 a year. I can't get rid of Amazon Prime. I also bought iCloud storage to store photos, and that was $2.99. Google Drive, which I had two terabytes on Google Drive and paid for Google One, that's $10 a month. Adobe Premiere subscription to edit videos, to edit photos, to do the things that I really enjoy doing. Not getting rid of that one, but that is $399 a year. We also had Apple Music, which is redundant with Amazon Music, right? Peloton, the Peloton online workout, fitness, do bike rides, things like that, $12.99 every single month. I use Epidemic Sound for all of my videos. That is $15 a month, which is a great deal because they have awesome music. I also used Evernote, which was $8 a month. And honestly, there are a lot of services that do the same thing that Evernote does. It's a note-taking app. I can use Apple Notes. There's Notion, which is online and free. And we also like to read comic books. So we had Marvel Unlimited for $10 a month, but I didn't read as many comic books as maybe made it worth it. And I'm sure there were more things that I'm not thinking of, but the total every single year for all of those things ended up being over $2,000. Like $2,000 a year, I don't know about you, but I'd like some of that money back. That's a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Like I could buy things with it. Like subscription services. So anyway, I started looking and seeing what things offer what. And for the price of the new Apple One Premiere, which includes uh, Fitness Plus, music, it includes TV Plus, which is not great, but if it's free, I guess. It also includes Apple Arcade, which is kind of cool if you have kids that play video games because they're ad-free 
and they're actually pretty good. I like it. I would rather give them the subscription for Apple Arcade than let them buy all these other sometimes ridiculous games. They give you two terabytes of iCloud storage. They give you news plus if you're into that sort of thing. I try to avoid the news at all costs because it's a trigger as it is for a lot of people. And then as I started to go through Apple One Premiere and look at the redundancies, I started to realize that Google Drive, which I do like and I did use all the time, was redundant. So I moved all of my things out of Google Drive. I put them into iCloud temporarily. I just want to see how it is. I didn't use iCloud online file storage very often, but I think it might be a good thing. Also with Apple Music, Amazon Music can go. And the cool thing is, even though we have Alexas, there's one right there. Even though we have Alexas all over the house, you can still play music with Apple Music. You just tell her to play it on Apple Music. We also have the Apple Homes, which I like better than that one. And it works pretty well. And then also the Apple Fitness Plus, which I'm not loving. I hate being tied to a device when you buy a subscription service. I think it's kind of crazy that you have to have an Apple Watch. I think they should really consider getting rid of the tied to the watch plan because I think more people would use it and it's silly. Anyway, so that saved us like 40 or $50 a month. You're talking $10 for Google Drive, $15 for the Amazon Music family plan. Less obviously if you're just doing it yourself, but still. And then $13.99 a month for Peloton. That's a huge savings. And the thing we ended up doing was going with Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime. I kept my Adobe Premiere. We have Apple One, which goes with everything now. And I pay $15 a month for Epidemic Sound for a grand total of about $1,450, which is almost $700 in savings every single month. So if you love your subscription service every single month, don't cancel it. But for me, as I was considering what I wanted to keep and what I could let go of, there were a lot of things that just didn't make sense. Netflix, I found I never really watched anything on. They had some good stuff, but I've watched all the good stuff. So I got rid of that. And we ended up keeping Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, because Amazon Prime, um, keeping my Adobe Premiere subscription for video editing. We're going Apple One, which is $30 a month, and that's, I, I, so far it's been pretty good. We've been doing this for a few weeks now, maybe a few months. I'm loving it. I don't miss anything. And finally, Epidemic Sound is part of my subscription service for creating these videos or other videos on my vlog channel, which you are more than welcome to look at. I'll leave a link in the description. I think we all just need the permission to let go and say we can come back if we miss it. But what if we don't miss it and we put that money back in our pocket? Just an idea. I hope this video was helpful. I love sharing tips and life experiences, and all kinds of other things. And that's what I'm gonna be doing on this brand new channel, Chris Knows Nothing, because I know nothing, but I try to learn it. And I'll share those things I learned with you. We'll see you guys next time.